according to quantum immortality, Schrodinger's cat should live. Which of these two concepts is valid? That's an interesting question. So let me uh, explain what quantum immortality is. So it's a thought experiment in quantum mechanics. So it, there are several interpretations of quantum mechanics, as I hope you are aware. One of these, the most widely accepted one until very recently has been the Copenhagen interpretation, in which says that uh, particle superpositions, basically uh, a particle remains in a superposition until it is observed and where it was before that is not meaningful at all. So don't ask questions, just calculate and get the results. That's the Copenhagen interpretation. There are several others, but one of the important ones is the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics which is uh, due to Hugh Everett. So according to this interpretation of quantum mechanics, every time an observation is made, so before an observation is made, a particle, let's say an electron, is in a superposition of states. The moment you observe it, the superposition, the wave function collapses and it resolves itself in one place. But until then, it was in many places at once. So according to the many worlds interpretation every time you make a measurement the world line splits off into two branches or several br branches possibly usually it's two and the the electron is in one place for you but it's in various other locations in another parallel universe so that's the many world interpretation so essentially it says that every time you make a decision a choice Every time you do that, the world splits, your world line splits into two branches. So, so for, exa for example, it looks like this. Uh, so here it is. So this is you, basically this is you. And when you make a choice, let's say you are flipping a coin. So in, and you see the result is heads. So this is the result for you. But in another parallel universe, you got a tails. And every time you flip a coin or make any choice in your life, the, the world line keeps branching off into, into several branches in this manner. And eventually, it looks like this after some time. And eventually, over a longer period of time, it looks like this. You know, your, your world line branches off in so many different branches. And this basically, or for example, this, this is the kind of decision tree and world line that you get branching world line every time you make a choice so this basically this image could represent what you have done over one maybe one day all the choices you made in one day they led off to the branching off of your world line into so many different branches so th th basically it means that there is an almost infinite number of parallel universes in which you exist based on the choices you have made in your life so for example try and rem remember a time when you had a close shave, maybe an accident or an illness in which you barely survived or you, you got very lucky. Well, according to this theory, there is a parallel world in which you did not survive that. You know, So, so that is the entire basics, basis of the uh, many worlds theory. That every time you make a choice, every time uh, something happens, there is also something else which would have happened. So the thought experiment is like this. Let's say that you have a loaded gun in which there are only two chambers. And one chamber has a bullet, the other chamber is empty. And you're playing Russian roulette with yourself. So you put the gun to your head and you pull the trigger. Now let's say you get lucky and it was empty. But in a parallel universe, you got you were not lucky. The world, because you made a choice of pulling the trigger. So the, your world line split into two branches. And in one branch of the world line, you got lucky and there was nothing in the, in the chamber. In another one, you did not get lucky, you got shot and you died. But your consciousness doesn't exist anymore in the other world. It only exists here. So every time you, basically according to this theory, every time you play this game, in one universe you will die, in one universe you'll survive. And your consciousness will, will always remain in one universe. So it will appear to you that you keep on getting lucky every time you pull the trigger. So that is called quantum immortality. That every time... A situ that you are put in a situation where you may live or die, both these possibilities will occur in two different branches of the universe or in two parallel universes. The universe will split off and your consciousness will survive in the world 
in which you have survived but in a parallel world you will have died so according if you take this far enough it means that you never die no matter what happens you never die you always get lucky because your consciousness somehow does survive in one branch of the possibilities of your world line and if you take it far enough it means that no matter what happens your consciousness will survive even when your physical body is on the point of dying it somehow lingers on lingers on lingers on and it seems to indicate the many worlds in uh, this this thought experiment of quantum immortality and this many world theory it kind of seems to indicate that consciousness your individual consciousness essentially will survive forever and therefore it means that you are quantum mechanically mechanically immortal basically it says that your consciousness is local it is local it is tied to this physical body but it will survive on somehow even if you go into a coma and everyone thinks you're dead or whatever your consciousness lingers on somehow so that is quantum immortality now let's talk about the cat schrodinger's cat so you place a cat in a box and uh, you give it half an hour you put some uh, something in there which will either kill it or let, let it live so the chance of the cat living or dying is 50-50 so every time you open the box you will find that the cat is either dead or alive and when the box is closed and you don't know what's inside it means the cat is is in a superposition of states dead as well as alive now according to quantum immortality the question is the cat should survive it should live right but only from its perspective not from my perspective so if if i was the cat in the box then from my perspective i will never die of course i may die but in a parallel universe in which my consciousness no longer survives so from my perspective i keep on surviving but if i am an external observer and i am watching a cat then from the cat's perspective there's always a world in which it survives but from my perspective it may have died so it's all about perspective it's about the perspective of the observer and the person who's actually experiencing this so from an external observer's perspective the cat may die 50 50 but from the cat's perspective from its own world line it will always survive so that is the concept of quantum immortality it's a very interesting concept if the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics is correct then it essentially indicates that your consciousness will survive forever it may even somehow transcend the death of your body it it may it it may look like that so it's a very interesting concept in in quantum mechanics the, the real debate is whether this theory this interpretation the many worlds interpretation is correct or not so there's an increasing number of physicists who are gravitating towards this concept who believe that this concept this this interpretation the many worlds interpretation is indeed the correct interpretation of quantum mechanics so th- this debate is still the, out there it's a matter of opinion among physicists and uh, it's not yet proven because we still don't understand quantum mechanics but this could be one of the possible interpretations and possible ways possible uh, things that quantum mechanics is trying to tell us